a Canadian Magic the Gathering player, well this channel seems like it's going to be one wild ride. Hello everyone, Canadian MTG coming to you guys with a legacy deck deck. Today I have for you guys Boros, which is red and white. Now this deck, personally, is pretty good, but another deck that could probably use cards like Scalding Tarn or um, Arid Mesa, Mesa, whatever you want to call it, cards like that. But once again, this deck is about $134, so it's actually pretty budget for a legacy deck. And it's pretty fun, it uses uh, a bit of the Boros cards from Ravnica and then return to Ravnica. And we see a lot of price drops with cards such as the Boros Recruit. I mean, not Boros Recruit. Um, Boros Reckoner. I remember when this card was like 20 bucks a pop, and now it's only like 2 which means I could actually get them. Even a Johnny Vengeance is 11 which is more costly than I expected, thinking that he had his own deck and stuff. But anyways, let's go over this deck today. We have 21 creatures, 22 lands, 1 Planeswalker, 10 Instant, and 6 Enchantments. So... No sideboard, no maybe board, this is just their strict board. Um, I still remember when I did my Simic deck. You guys should totally check that out. Most viewed video on my channel, I think I think it's almost at either 15,000 or is it 15,000? But I had no sideboard, so if you guys want to modernize that deck, please go check it out. I am planning on getting it soon. So anyway, starting off, we have one, Arulia with the War Leader, which is a 3-4 for 6. Two colorless, two red, two white. With flying vigilance and haste, whenever Arolia the War Leader attacks, for the first time each turn, untap all creatures you control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. So, if you do manage to get her out, she is fucking amazing. Part of my language, but she is amazing. Like, she allows you to attack twice. <laughs> so, yeah. And we got four Boros Elite, which is a 1-1 one, one for white with Battalion. And the effect of Battalion is whenever Boros Elite and at least two other creatures attack, Boros Elite get plus two, plus two. So remember, uh, Battalion is when other creatures attack, they get buffed up. Just like back in my Orosov deck tech, it was Extort whenever they come in, you know, 1-1. One, one. But anyways, we got four Boros Reckoner, which is a 3-3 three for, three, three for three, other uh, either white or red. And whenever Boros Reckoner is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target creature or player. And then tap one white or one red. Boros Reckoner gains first strike until the end of turn. So, that is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Just gotta reply to a text. Uh, hang on here a sec, guys. Anyways, then we got four, or four, two Boros Recruit, which is a 1-1 one, one white red, and then uh, first strike, so pretty basic. Um, it's just, you know, there for first strike, and a turn one drop. Then we got four Fire Main Avengers, which is a 3-3 three, three for four, two colors, one white and one red, flying with Battalion. But this time Battalion, um... It deals 3 damage, you gain 3 life. So, kind of like the Orsov ability, but it, with a Boros card. Then we got 2 Sun Home Guild Mage, which is a 2-2 two, two for 2. 1 red, 1 white. And then tap 3 mana. Creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1. And then type 4, uh, tap 4. Um, get 1-1 uh, one, one, uh, uh, red and white creature tokens. Soldiers. And then we got two, 1 Tajik. Blade of the Legion, which is a 2-2 two, two for 4. Two colors, one white, one red. Tajik Blade of the Legion is indestructible with Battalion. This time it's plus 5, plus 5. And True Fire Paladin, which is a 2-2 two, two for 2. Uh, one red, one white. Vigilance. Tap red and white. True Fire Paladin gets plus 2, plus 0 until the end turn. And then same again, first strike. Our lands include Clifftop Retreat, so red and white. Dragon Skill Summit, red and black. Mountain, Plains, and Sacred Foundry, which is red and white. And then our Johnny Vengeant is a 3 loyalty, 4 mana cost, 2 colorless, 1 red, 1 white. Uh, target permanent does not untap during its controller's next untap, except for 1. Minus 2, a Johnny Vengeant deals 3 damage to target creature or player, and you gain 3 light. And minus 7, destroy all lands target player controls. The land part is the one you want because it eats away, and then they had no mana base. Our instances include four Boros Charm, which is probably the most expensive non-land uh, card in this deck. 
which is a 1 red, 1 white, choose 1, Boros Charm deals 4 damage to target player, or permanents you control gain indestructible until the end of turn, or target creature gains double strike until the end of turn. 4 lightning helix, actually, no, lightning helix is, I think is. Yeah, lightning helix is. Which is a 2 cost, 1 red, 1 white, lightning helix deals 3 damage to target creature or player, and you gain 3 life. 2 master warcraft, which is a 4 cost, 2 colors, whiter, 2 white or red. Cast Master Warcraft only before attackers are declared. You choose uh, which creatures attack this turn. You choose how each creature blocks this turn. So it allows you to block and attack with whatever you feel like. Then our enchantments include two legions initiative. Red creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And white get plus zero, plus one. And for white and red, exile legions initiative. Exile all creatures you control. At the beginning of the next combats, uh, return these cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. And those creatures gain haste until the end of turn. And the cost of this card is one red, one white. And then we got four madcap skills, which is a two cost, one colorless, one red enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus zero, and can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. So pretty basic Boros deck. I like the concept. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.